Hi, George Pushing here, helping you unlock your team's genius. In this episode of the Power of Three series, I'd like to share my um, top three encouragements for you to get the most out of um, the product owner and scrum master relationship, or as it's in UK public service, referred to as product manager and uh, delivery manager. And as always in the Power of Three series, I'm going to spend just three minutes doing that. So let's put three minutes on the clock. Here we go. Um, my first tip is to um, do something that in hindsight might seem obvious, but uh, is actually often uh, overlooked. And uh, I uh, made, was made aware on a course with the Agile Coaching Institute. So the um, first tip is to actually sit down and form an active alliance between product owner and scrum master for the two of you um, to uh, sit down and go over what your roles and responsibilities are, your mutual expectations of each other, and turn all those passive presumptions that you might bring into the relationship into active agreements. Uh, it's important that you are um, aware of your mutual strengths and your needs. Um, uh, it's uh, important that uh, you make each other aware how you can best support each other. What does it look like when one of you is having a bad day? What permission do you give each other to call each other out um, uh, to uh, um, help each other out and uh, all these sorts of things that we might uh, really seem as obvious but it's so so beneficial to just make those um, transparent and uh, agree them. Um, the second tip I'd like to um, share with you is um, that in the work with um, your team and in your relationship between product owner and uh, scrum master, um, that you use this opportunity also to play to your respective strengths. So um, there might be situations where further to the more natural um, role uh, gravity centers, if you will, of um, business value and user value realization with the product owner and uh, delivery strategy, team development, team dynamics, and uh, with the uh, scrum master or delivery manager, that you have certain propensities, that you have mutual strengths that you could actually tap into um, that are not only helping you in your relationship with each other, but also helping you in the relationship with the team. So overall, you're gaining a lot more resilience. And uh, that's uh, something that uh, is not necessarily um, so so obvious, um, but really can be very beneficial. And uh, the third tip or encouragement that I'd like to share with you actually ties back to the first one. So um, every pair that actually sits down and uh, uh, forms this active alliance um, has very, very good results uh, coming from it. Um, not all of them, though, really maximize the benefit that comes with it and come back together to inspect and adapt and say, um, all right, so let's review how have we been doing together in our relationship? How does it compare to um, our alliance and uh, what we set out to do, how we set out to work uh, with each other? So um, come back together, review it, and just see what you can learn from the experience that you've had together in the relationship and uh, what you would like uh, to add, to tweak, to improve for the next period until you come back together. So the relationship that you have um, needs that uh, time and energy investment in order to continue to improve. And it's something that um, is, uh, even by those pairs that do, do the alliance, overlooked. And with that, our three minutes are just about up. Um, I would like to thank you for your time and uh, interest. If you have any thoughts on uh, this video, ideas for future ones, please leave them in the comments. If you found something useful or valuable in this video, please um, like the video if you'd like to get updated on uh, future videos in this series or anything else on the channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button. So thank you very much. All the best for your practice and until next time. Goodbye.